Hi there. I'm very bored. We're all bored. It's quarantine. So I decided I'm going to make an old fashioned and I'm so bored and shameless that I'm going to record it and you can maybe make one at home. Um, but first things first, uh, sugar cube, uh, no simple syrup in this house for that. Um, a rye instead of a bourbon. Bourbon tends to be sweeter and I like mine a little, a little stiffer. Also fun fact, rye is what originally old fashions were made with. Um, and before they were old fashions, they were just whiskey cocktails. Um, and then I also have a nice uh, salted cacao uh, bitter that I have um, from, uh, from California. And it's nice because it has an eyedropper because what I do is I'll do a sugar cube in my glass. Uh, this is an old fashioned glass. And then what I'll do is I'll take the bitter um, and for, since this has an eyedropper, um, I can actually just go right into the sugar cube, which is really, really nice. So I can just go right into the sugar cube with my bitter and I can saturate it um, pretty much all the way with only one eyedropper full. Um, and the reason I like doing this is because it's the same measurement every time um, and it can it keeps the bitter where I want it. Uh, and then also, because it is a rye, it is a little stiffer, so I actually add a tiny bit of water, uh, just a quick like spurt of water. You really don't need very much at all. It's just a tiny amount. And then you'll take your muddler uh, you can buy pretty cheap ones on Amazon. They don't need to be nice. And my sugar cubes are really stale, so I kind of have to really break it. But all you're trying to do is get rid of the big chunks. So, like, you can see some big chunks in there, probably. Uh, we're going to get rid of those. And I can just kind of get rid of them that way. And now we're down to the small uh, particulates of sugar. Um, one of the other rules I have for an old fashioned, never put this away until you know you're done for the night because you'll never know how many old fashions you will want for the night. Um, and then from there, I'll put my, my whiskey cube in first, um, silicon cube trays are great. Uh, recommend getting at least one of these, uh, are really, really cheap. Uh, and then, uh, you'll take your rye. And from there, uh, you'll do uh, one ounce in your jigger. I do two ounce old fashions uh, pretty consistently. If you're having a day, you could go up to a three ounce or a two and a half. Um, but I'll take my jigger and I'll only do one ounce uh, to start. And the reason I kind of do this is that as I spill a ton of whiskey, uh, is I just want to start to dissolve the sugar with this. And also to start kind of melting down the uh, the ice cube in there, dilute it a little bit. And a lot of people like to like treat this like it's a, a cauldron and you, you don't really need to do that. I just put it in between my two uh, middle fingers there and then I create a circle up top. And then I can keep the spoon on the outside here and then I can spin it really, really quickly uh, and get a nice little stir going on. And then from there, once you've kind of uh, uh, dissolved your sugar a little bit, we'll do another ounce of our rye and we'll go right in there. I really like High West Whiskey. There's some other really great ryes uh, for an old fashioned that are relatively inexpensive for your at home uh, cocktails. And same thing, so we're gonna, we're just gonna stir this and we're really just gonna make sure that there's no like sugar particles still kind of dangling around. I can still see a couple. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and get rid of those. I don't have any oranges uh, or I would add an orange to this, uh, but that is a very simple uh, at home old fashioned recipe. If you handed this to a friend, they would swear it is from a bar.